Hello YouTube, welcome back to Traveling Array of Scanners uh, Tips for Traveling. My name is Tommy Cam. I'm wanting to talk about a couple of good like radio stations that 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 I have listened to like throughout the days that um that I've been traveling and like a couple of good areas that I've honestly listened to and I think these areas give like a really good authorization that that some really good people can start listening to them which is like the National Corvette Museum this place gets like a really good DMR network which they use like 464.525464 2.225.462.425.464.55 Now they also got the Bowling Green Ballpark which I think which is really good in that area Now if we go to the Illinois area and we click on Cook County, which is the Chicago area. Uh, sometimes I'm not a big fan of the Chicago area because of be, because they got like so much going on there. Like you guys have to be vigilant. Now, now, like a couple of tips that I have for you guys. If you guys are planning to go ever to Chicago, it's like number one, number one, if you guys ever fly out of like either the Chicago Midway or the Chicago, the Chicago International Airport, I mean the Chicago O'Hare, what I recommend is to make sure you guys take two radio two radios with you because you guys might not know if you guys can listen to the air traffic control there at like for instance at the Chicago International Airport because kind of like how I knew that I was doing some looking up like for instance, like at several different stuff they have over there in Chicago. Now Chicago, we all know, is like a big huge place and there's like lots and lots and lots of stuff going on there. But we all gotta understand, Chicago Chicago is like, like such a big operation. They got like, like they even made their own show, their own couple of shows, which is like number one, Chicago Med, number two, Chicago Fire, number three, Chicago PD. Now, I've watched a couple of the episodes of the Chicago Fire, and I think that's a really good show, but I won't give you guys any spoilers. Looks like also, um, looks like also like a couple of other good places that I would recommend if you guys ever drive up there from Indiana. Another place where I recommend you guys try out to go visit in this area I think is really good for people that likes like go likes to go into like like parks and stuff. They got like for instance they got a really good park here. And I'm glad they give out the radio frequencies. But sometimes at the Indiana Dunes National Park Lakeshore Resort, 
you got, for instance, like a fire repeater. You got a couple fire tacks, which is like really great. You also got like a fire direct, which I think, which is really good for people that say, um, okay, Tommy, so, 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 so we now thought of where you guys, where you want to go check out. Now tell us a couple of reasons why. So like number one, the reason why that, uh, that I would like to go visit here, it's because they got like so much like different, different analog radio systems. Like I'm looking at Cedar Lake. Cedar Lake got a police repeater. They got a police tech. Everything there is like, for instance, analog. So if we go on down to East Chicago, they got a fire repeater, they got prompt medical transfer. Now they also got our transit bus operations. Now they also got the Gary Chicago Airport, which I haven't heard anything about that airport. And I've been trying to do as much looking up as I can on these airports. But there is like so much stuff that you have to know. Like even before you guys fly. Like even into these airports. Okay. So... So, so they got, for instance, like on here, their radio, re, their radio frequencies on here. They got Gary Gown. They got Gary Tower, which both of those use 121.9 and 121.4. 125 they also got the Weather X AWS, which is 134.575, which I think that right there gives out a full, full, full good radio diagram. Now they also got on this map, if I, if I turn you guys around, they got this simplify chart right here, the section chart, which shows like different radio graphs, like different radio graphs are showing you guys like what airports own different areas, which I think, which is really nice. Now, uh, now their arrivals, they use two different arrivals. Now their departure, they use Aliga 6, Block 6, Caroline 6, VNC 6, Airline 6, and then after that, their big, I mean, their big metropolitan airport is the Chicago O'Hare International Airport. So we got to understand that Chicago O'Hare got, for instance, like, like a really, 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 really good ray of spectrum because because they do some stuff like for Southwest Airlines there, they are a phenomenal, and I mean such a great airport. You guys have to go check this out. Like, like sometimes I didn't even think that I would like this airport. Because I thought this airport was so compact. You have to pick out like a really good radio frequency to listen to. So you don't get in trouble with like TSA and stuff. Now. 
Now there's like a couple of other tips that I recommend everybody does, which I think, which is really good. Like the couple of tips that I recommend you guys do. It's like number one, just go have a good time. And, um, and if you guys ever want to see like what's going on in that community, you guys don't have to go there. They got stuff that you guys can watch like live, which is on TV. Like all you gotta do is just type in Chicago FD in an effort. <coughs> <clears throat> and then after that the Chicago FD will have like so much more like different rare responsibilities which I think which is really nice They, um, sadly at this airport, they got only two, but they got a FAA air traffic control tower, which I think, which is really nice. Plus, this place is also good for shipping cargo and stuff, which I think, which is really good. Now, um, now before I let you guys go, I'm going to be talking about a little bit about the Chicago O'Hare Airport. I mean, like, one of the Chicago airports. Not that one. Want Midway, which is right there. So Chicago Midway. They're starting to use the system there, which I think is just a bunch of B U C K which is a big book. Like for instance, like on this system, they give you out the channels, which I am like saying, like, holy cow, okay? Like, holy cow. These places, have got to stop this because I know that some places say okay we will allow you to listen to radio scanners but some airlines will not let you so like for instance if you guys go to like the Churchill Downs they are currently changing their radio system there. And I also seen that they also changed their website. Which luckily they are still part of a couple of like, like, like they're still turning over. So, so we still don't have they still have like some some good radio reflex. You guys can listen to NBC cameras, NBC audio, NBC producers, NBC spotters. And then after that, you guys can listen to the Kentucky National Guard and then aviation operations, which, hey, that's okay. Now, going on the Churchill Downs radio system, they got, like, housekeeping, 
They got a couple of unknown talk groups. They also got escort details, courage, suites. They also got parking, tickets, and I guess these other ones are part of the buses, which we all know the buses are, or the buses that you guys ride to go inside, inside Churchill Downs, okay? They also got like a couple of hotels that you guys can listen to. Which almost all the Louisville hotels you guys can listen to. Now the executive in, that's a really good one if you guys are going down there. You guys are wanting to listen to like airport transportation. So the executive in, sorry you guys, uh, but we can't talk about the executive in because that one's currently closed acquiring off their website so the gold house this one is like a really good one okay so this one is like a place that i think which should give out all four stars okay because clicking on our hotel Hotel FAQ. They got 3 p.m. check-in and 11 a.m. check-out. Parking space. They also got free Wi-Fi to all guests. Which, which free Wi-Fi is available to our guests, all guest rooms, meeting rooms, and restaurants. So if we click on that to learn more about it, um, they do have a pool that's open seasonally on the third floor on the West Shore Tower, which they also got stuff for, they also got for continental breakfast, you got Walker's Exchange, Actually, they do not offer a full, and I'm wanting, um, I'm wanting to use this website because, honestly, I think these people are really nice here, and I have to give them some credit. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up, and if you guys are new to the channel, Please make sure to hit that subscribe button, ding that notification bell, so you guys will not miss out on any videos. And goodbye.